Gabby Petito went out on an extended road trip with her boyfriend to enjoy life and her youth. On September 11th, she was reported missing after her boyfriend returned to their Florida home without her. On September 19th, the FBI found a body consistent with the description of Gabby. Here's what we know so far. Gabby Petito is a 22-year-old travel influencer from Blue Point, New York. She was living with her boyfriend, Brian Laundry in Northport, Florida, along with his parents since 2019. They both like traveling with Gabby documenting their trips and sharing them with their followers on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok. On July 2nd, they left Long Island to travel across the country out of their van, posting on social media from beautiful national parks and places under the hashtag VanLife. Life seemed perfect for the couple. On August 12, the police in Moab, Utah, stopped Gabby and Brian after receiving a call stating they saw Gabby slap Brian across the face over a phone. She then climbed through the van's window as if she was locked out by him. After pulling them over, police found Gabby crying uncontrollably, breathing heavily, and couldn't even talk properly. Brian said to the police that because of the amount of time they were spending together, it led to them fighting more. While Gabby mentioned her serious anxiety was made worse by the little arguments she and Brian were having throughout the day. Brian also mentioned that Gabby became mad in fear that he would leave her behind in the desert. During the fight, Gabby scratched Brian's face and his arm. The officer decided not to take any action against the couple and included in his report, quote, they're in love and engaged to be married and desperately didn't wish to see anyone charged with the crime, end quote. Brian felt safe and Gravy did not show any injuries, the officer also added. Brian was taken to a hotel and Gabby was left with the van to cool off for the night. The police labeled the incident as mental slash emotional break rather than domestic violence. On September 1st, over two weeks later, Brian came back to the couple's Florida home without Gabby. After not hearing from Gabby and her whereabouts, her parents reported her as missing on September 11th. Northport police found the van at Brian's parents' house. Because Brian was the last person to be with Gabby and is also her boyfriend, he became the primary suspect but he refused to cooperate with the authority. On September 15th, Northport police who were working with the FBI and other agencies said that neither he made himself available to be interviewed by the investigators nor provided any helpful details. Both Brian and his family are refusing to make any statements and are having the police route all their questions through the attorney. Meanwhile, Gabby's family stated the last time they saw Gabby was on August 24th or 25th when she video chatted with her mom as she was hiking in Grand Teton National Park in Wyoming. After that, they texted a few times over the next couple of days and then she went silent. Gabby's family begged Brian to tell where she is and help bring their daughter home but nothing came from him. On September 17th, Brian Laundry went missing. The FBI, along with multiple other agencies, launched a search party to locate him, but have failed. His whereabouts are still unknown. On September 19, the FBI held a press conference sharing that they found what they believed to be the remains of Gabby Petito in Bridget Teton National Forest. The cause of death is unknown at the moment. The police and the FBI removed Brian's parents from the home and are treating it as a crime scene along with the van. If you have any information regarding Gabby's disappearance or Brian's whereabouts, please call this tip line. If you like this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe.